Part of an ATC clearance may include an arrival procedure at the destination airport. In this video, we will discuss how to enter an arrival procedure into the flight plan, as well as how to select an approach and runway. When an ATC clearance involves an arrival procedure, it should be entered when creating the flight plan prior to departure. There are several ways to select the arrival for the destination airport. One option is to use the Join prompt on the waypoint list and select Arrival. Another option is to click on the Runway Approach Star prompt on the landing window. The change can also be made graphically on the iNav map. Click on the Arrival Airport and select Departure Arrival. The runway, approach, and arrival procedure can be selected in any order. The approach and landing runway is normally not known prior to departure. To accommodate this, an arrival procedure can be entered without an approach or landing runway. Select the arrival and transition if applicable. Insert and activate the changes. Then review the flight plan for accuracy. To change the arrival, go to the Departure Arrival window and deselect the current procedure. Once the arrival is deselected, all the available arrivals for the airport will be displayed. Select the new arrival procedure and transition. To enter the approach and landing runway, access the departure arrival window for the destination airport. Select the expected runway. This narrows down the approach options. Select the approach and transition and insert them into the flight plan. To change the runway, go to the Departure Arrival window and deselect the current runway. All available runways for the arrival airport are now displayed. Select the new arrival runway. Anytime the runway is changed, a new approach procedure must be re-entered. If Vectors is selected as the approach transition, the Activate Vectors prompt is displayed approximately 15 miles from the Fly Vectors to Intercept waypoint. The prompt is displayed in both the Active Flight Plan window and on the iNav map. When ATC begins to vector the aircraft for final approach, switch to Heading Mode and then click on the Activate Vectors prompt once the approach clearance is received, arm the approach. A discontinuity is created any time a defined flight path does not exist between two waypoints. Adding an arrival procedure or approach typically results in a discontinuity in the flight plan. It is caused by a lack of a common waypoint between the procedure and the flight plan. Discontinuities associated with arrivals or approaches should be left in the active flight plan until cleared for the approach. Once cleared to do so, the discontinuity can be deleted just like any other waypoint. This has been an overview of entering approach procedures and runways on the Primus Apex equipped Pilatus PC 12 NG aircraft. Please refer to the Aircraft Flight Manual for more information.